All right, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video comparing the difference between trading and going to get a college degree or a bachelor's degree specifically. So many of you may have already finished school. You may be in school right now. You may be finishing high school and being pressured by your family to actually pick a career and pick a course that you want to take and do for the rest of your life, right? Um, However, schooling is very expensive. Um, I know that. I personally did go to school. I went to college first and then I went to university. Uh, I got my transfer credits from the college and then I did my bachelor's in business administration, uh, majored in finance. So personally for me, my experience, I stumbled upon trading within my schooling. So I didn't know anything really about it. I knew what the smart stock market was. I had no idea about Forex. Um, that was something I stumbled upon after. Um, I made a video on this before talking about how I used a stock simulator first and then realized that they had a, um, a simulator with Forex as well. So started playing around with that. And uh, yeah, so while I was in school, that's where I actually discovered trading to begin with. So for me, I mean, it kind of led me into it. Um, but yeah, like originally all I wanted to do was just go to school, do my business administration, just general business and, uh, maybe open up my own business somewhere, uh, doing, I don't know what I really planned on doing at the time, to be honest, it was just something I thought was interesting and that I wanted to do something on my own. Right. And that's, Part of the reason why I'm actually drawn or I was drawn to trading because it's kind of it, it's a business but you run it you make all the decisions um, and it's all up to you really um, so I mean there's benefits to trading but there is benefits to going to college um, so if you do want to go to college I'm not knocking it at all go you know it's a good experience however it does cost money that is the only real real downside cost money and time but anyway um, so yeah let's get into this video uh, the first thing I wanted to look at was um, factors to consider when choosing your path then we're gonna look at the timeline to complete a bachelor's degree then we're gonna look at the cost of getting a degree and then compare it to trading all right so the first thing we're gonna look at is the timeline that it actually takes to get a bachelor's degree so here in Ontario, uh, in Canada, we are required to get 120 credits to complete our degree. So I'm not sure how it works in other provinces, other states, uh, different countries around the world, but like I said, here it takes 120 credits, four years, 30 credits per year, 15 credits per semester. All right, now breaking that down into hours, you have three credits per course, per uh, per semester, you're going to take five different courses. So that's three hours per course per week, which is 15 hours per week of classes, 225 hours per semester, 1800 hours for the full four years. That's not even considering the time you spend outside of class, studying, uh, doing homework assignments, group assignments, um, preparing for presentations, a whole bunch of other things. So we can easily, easily bring that up to 10,000 hours by the time you've done your four year degree, right? So, you know, have you like, have you actually put that much time in to your training? Like actually put that time in to study and actually work. I, I'm not talking about jumping on the charts and opening live trades. I'm talking about studying, trading. Have you honestly put that much time in to mastering your craft? A lot of people, I would say, probably haven't. And it's sad, but to be honest, that's probably why a lot of people aren't successful in trading because they like to just jump into the charts and hope that they're gonna make money. They have you know, a couple indicators on their charts, they have a system that they think works, never really tested it. Maybe they did, but they, um, they get over it, move on to a new system. So 
actually put the time in and compare that to a degree because this is like if you want to trade this is something you need to do to you know become good at it like there's a reason you're spending this much time in school to get a degree in whatever you want to do because that company wants to know that you know what you're doing so wouldn't you want to know that you know what you're doing when you're trading all right so now let's take a look at the cost of a degree so a bachelor's degree um there is a small um inflation rate whatever you want to call it that increases on your tuition every year so i factored that in here um here in ontario just tuition alone you're looking at twelve thousand dollars a year that's not including your books and uh other things that you need to that you need to pay for right that's just straight tuition so by the end of your four-year degree you'll have spent fifty four thousand dollars on your degree all right just on that little piece of paper to say you're qualified to work at such and such company all right now if you're taking out a loan for that you're going to be looking at a 2.75 percent interest rate on that fifty four thousand dollars average repayment and i i googled all this stuff like this is all data that i collected here whatever i'm not i'm not making up these numbers the average repayment is 10 years the maximum the maximum is 17 years they won't let you do any payment past 17 years so your maximum is 10 years so or sorry your average is 10 years basically that breaks down to 527 dollars per month 6300 roughly per year all right so you're looking at 10 years of giving up $6,300. All right. So now, what is the point of all this? Well, I wanted to compare it to actually trading. So let's say first year, you're not profitable. Let, let's say you're not profitable between all these four years. You're still learning. You can actually afford, like if you're live trading and you're still not making money, and you're actually giving money to the markets, comparing it to a degree, you are paying, you could potentially afford to pay $1,000 a month the first year, $1,080 the next year, $1,166 the third year, and $1,260 in the fourth year. Every single month, you could pay that to the markets and still be at the same amount that you're paying for your degree. All right? So, Basically, what, what I'm trying to get at is, like, if you're losing money to the markets, it, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't because people pay to go to college and to get a degree. You're paying for your education in the markets, all right? The benefit, you're not going to have this debt at the end that you have to repay. Your money's already gone to the markets, and you've already paid that amount. Like that, that money's already been done, been paid for. Your education is, you know, your, your education is paid for, basically, right? Obviously, these numbers, probably you're not losing that much money in the markets. I, I would hope you're not. If you really don't know the markets yet and you don't know really how to trade, I really hope you're not losing this much money every month. But comparing it to a degree... This is what you potentially could afford to lose to be at the same level as a degree. All right. So, um, yeah, next slide here. Let's compare the salaries. So based in Ontario here, personally, I think these numbers are slightly biased. Um, they said that $85,000 per year is the average salary for someone with a bachelor's degree. Personally, I don't think they factored in the amount of people that actually do have a degree that are not working in what they went to schooling for, right? What they went to school for is not their actual career. And I guarantee you there's a high number of people that are not using that degree. 
So if they factored in those people that are making $50,000 a year, that number would be lower, right? But the average job, right? The average career that requires a bachelor's degree is paying $85,000 a year. Pretty sure that's where they got their number from. Anyway, that breaks down to $7,000 per month, $1,600 per week. All right. So now comparing that to trading with a thousand dollar account, it's kind of unrealistic. You would not be able to compare the salary. You would not be able to make the same amount as with a degree that you can with trading. If you only have a thousand dollars to trade with, you would need 700% return per month to amount to that $7,000 per month that someone with a degree is making. All right. So if you have a $10,000 account, you would still need a 70% return, which is very high still. I mean, people have done it. People do it. Are you able to do it? I don't know. Personally, um, it is a high return. All right. Now, if you're trading with a hundred thousand dollar account, I mean, you personally may not have a hundred thousand dollars, but let's say you go and sign up with FTMO and you get their hundred thousand dollar account to trade with, they take 30% of profits. You keep 70%. All right. So now their requirement is just to pass the challenge is 10% right? 10% in a month. So if you can pass that challenge, that means you can actually make 10% a month. Now they take, um, 3% of that 10%, right? And you're left with your $7,000 and you're making a comparable salary to what this person did getting a bachelor's degree. So there are routes you can take to get your capital that you need to make a decent return um, with not trying to over leverage and do all these things to make crazy 700% returns, right? So there, there's routes you can take. Um, there are lots of prop firms you can work for um, that will take a small percentage of the capital um, that, you, that you make, right? So, I mean, either or, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, it's really personal preference. If you want to do both, I did both. Um, I have my bachelor's degree in finance. Um, I mean, it, it's all up to you what you want to do with your life. Don't, tell, don't take it as if I'm telling you not to go to school or don't trade because you need crazy returns. Um, it's all, it's all up to you in the end, really. But I just wanted to show you the difference between them and, uh, yeah, make your decision from that point. Because I feel like a lot of people are just pressured to go to school because that is the standard. Um, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. We do need people to work those jobs, um, uh, that is, that schooling does provide. We need those types of people or the economy just won't work, right? Um, but if that route is not for you and you want to be a trader, just know that you do need the capital to actually provide a living, right? To, to provide a proper salary every year that you can live off of, all right? So just know that in advance. Don't try to get rich quick off this because you're going to be sadly, sadly mistaken. It's just another career that you choose. Um, it's just a, a business that you're going to run by yourself for yourself. All right. And uh, yeah. Final note here. Always just remember, be patient. Be patient with your results. Um, like I said, a bachelor's degree takes four years to get. So if you haven't put in four years, like 10,000 hours at least, take your time. You will learn as long as you put in your time in, you will get those returns eventually and you will become a profitable, 
profitable trader. All right. Just be patient with your results. All right. Put your time in. Put your time in to master your craft. Like I said, schooling. There, there's a reason why they make you go to school and they ask for that degree. They want to make sure that you know what you're doing when they hire you. So if you're trading, would you hire yourself with the knowledge that you have of the markets and actually put money into someone else? Let's, let's say you're going to hire someone to trade for you with the knowledge you have. Would you give them money to trade with? If not, are you ready to be putting money into the markets? Maybe not. All right. But if you are trading with live money, don't get down on yourself. You know, losses are losses. And like I said, if you're paying the markets, if you're losing money month over month, week over week, year over year, it's not the end of the world. People pay $54,000 to go get a degree for four years, right? And then they have debt to pay. If you're paying the markets to learn, you won't have a debt at the end and you'll have gained the skill to provide an income for yourself. All right, so don't let losses get you down. Just keep on track, just keep plugging away. Eventually you'll get there. All right, if you're not making money right now, it's okay. You're still learning. You are still learning. All right, so I'll leave you with that. Just wanted to make a quick video because I feel like this is a topic that has come up when I told people I was trading. Um, other people that I know have mentioned it as well. I've talked to other people that say, you know, they want to drop out of school, but um, they don't, you know, their family is going to look at them funny, whatever. They're going to say things. I mean, stay in school if you want. It's totally up to you. Go to school if you want. If you haven't already. Every, every decision is up to you. It's your life in the end, right? But if you're trading and you want to trade and this is something you really want to do with your life, put your time in, be patient, and uh, yeah, go from there. All right. I'm going to leave it, leave it there. Um, yeah. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.